inspired thoughts and work into the world to make our world a better place, to inspire hope in others and hope in communities that are experiencing challenges. So taking from the hip hop aesthetic about freestyle and moving in our craft and our artistry from these inspired motifs, I also want to see how we apply that in our work every day in life, engaging communities, engaging family, engaging culture to bring about hope where there seems to be hopelessness. There's several things in freestyle, a few of them are, you know, of course, to talk about hip hop, to talk about the kind of intersections between faith and hip hop and where I think we should have greater connectivity. Talk about justice, we got some pieces in there about Trevon Martin and what it means to be a young African American man today and some of the struggles that are engaged there. Talk about my family, both our successes and even the challenges that we've experienced and how we've found strength in others to bring about hope within our families. Uh, talk, about, uh, talk about faith. And talk about the connection between the past and the present as we move to the future. Because I believe if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where we're going. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole thing that connects the, uh, the, the book together is this idea of hope, all right? That we have an expectation of a better day that is coming and that we've got to work together to bring that better day to pass. Usually when you don't have an authentic engagement with somebody when you don't know them, you can miss what they're really trying to say, right? So the first thing that has to get to happen is that we've got to create these environments and opportunities for the church or the hip hop culture to really get to know each other and not to see each other as enemies, but actually see each other as partners towards building our world. So one of the things I like to do, particularly the people who uh, may not be familiar with hip hop, is I say, listen, I know it's, it's a, it sounds different to you, it's music you've not heard before, let's strip it down, let's take the music out of it, let's just read the lyrics, right? And I've had people who've just been astounded, for instance, I've had people break out into tears reading the lyrics of Tupac Shakur. The beat, the music, for whatever reason, because of their lack of experience with it, blocked their ability to really hear what he was saying, but by stripping it down, they could then really hear and get inside the message and see the pain and agony and how it expressed really the pain and agony of a generation to move them to take action. On the other side, there are people who say, listen, I've never gone to church and everything I hear in the Bible is about these old names for people in ancient places and I don't understand their context, I don't understand what they're doing, how does it relate to me? And so I say, okay, well let's use hip hop as the bridge between the scriptures and the people. And let's see if there's any connectivity there. Let's see if there's anything that say Kanye West is talking about that also the Apostle Paul is talking about. Let's see if there's any experience that an Ice Cube or a K-Dot has, right, that's similar to the experience that maybe a Samson has, right? And clearly, since we're all, basically the Bible is about the human experience, right? It's about God working in the midst of the human experience. We can look at the experiences that we have present day culture, and we can see how they connect with the uh, culture of, uh, of the Bible, and then use that as a means to begin the conversation. My only aspiration presently is just a large conversation. Right? Um, I want and I would hope that people would read the book, 
that it would inspire them to begin thinking about how they can make their communities, their families a better place. And that they will then invite those people who are around them into the conversation so that they too can be a part of creating our better world. So right now, just my only ambition, my only hope is that of course people who get the book and that they read it, but not just read it and put it on the shelf, hopefully it'll be read and that the ideas that are there would, would begin to spark some type of action. Um, I remember just a wonderful Tupac quote, uh, paraphrase, paraphrasing, Tupac basically said, you know, I, I won't change the world, but I want to inspire the mind, I want to spark the mind that does change the world. And I may not change the world, but hopefully freestyle can be used as a tool to spark the mind of a person or a community who, if nothing else, will change their community for you can find a freestyle and you can actually connect with me on the web. My address is michaelwwaters.com. That's my name again, michaelwwaters.com. Uh, connect you with the book, connect you with my social media presence on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on LinkedIn. Uh, you'll find us there. And you can find a freestyle not only on the website but on Amazon.com, uh, Coatesbury Bookstore, uh, Barnes and Nobles. It's in Kindle, it's on Nook. Uh, just look it up. We hope you enjoy it.